The Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir is set to see a three-way political contest. On the one side is the hugely popular Bharatiya Janata Party-led National Democratic Alliance. Opposing it is the Indian National Developmental and Inclusive Alliance or the India Bloc in short. The National Conference, People's Democratic Party and Indian National Congress are the India bloc's key constituents in the Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir. But there is also a third front in the making, decision on which will be taken this week. Reports say that the JNK Apni party led by influential business person Altaf Bukhari, Democratic Progressive Azad party of former Congress leader Gulam Nebi Azad and People's Conference of Sajrat Loan are engaged in talks on farming, forming pardon me, this third front. If the third front emerges, then the three parties may contest a seat each in the Kashmir Valley. The three parties are critical of the India bloc and want to present themselves as an alternative. The upcoming elections for the five Lok Sabha seats in Jammu and Kashmir are crucial. The elections are the first since the abrogation of special status of the erstwhile state and its bifurcation into two union territories. Back in 2019 general elections, the BJP won three of the six seats in the state. With the separation of Ladakh, Jammu and Kashmir is now left with five Lok Sabha seats, of which three are held by the National Conference and two by the BJP. Of the three parties looking to form the third front, two were formed after the abrogation of Article 370. Apni Party and the DPAP were formed post-August 2019, while the People's Conference came into being after the fall of the PDP-BJP coalition government in June of 2018. Back then, many leaders deserted the PDP to join the People's Conference. The third front leaders say that their alliance will be finalized before the Lok Sabha polls and will possibly stay in place for the assembly polls. The alliance is likely to be headed by veteran leader Gulam Nabi Azad and third front will contest from three Kashmir Valley seats, Anantarang, Rajori, Srinagar and Barmulla. People's Conference Sajrat Lone has already announced his candidature for the Baramulla Lok Sabha seat. Commentators say if the third front emerges, it will pose a serious challenge for the National Conference and the India Bloc. The National Conference won all three seats in the valley in the year 2019. Anantnag is going to polls on May 7th, Srinagar on May 13th and Baramulla on May 20th. Meanwhile, Uddhampur and Jammu will go to polls on April 19th and April 26th respectively. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.